What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing this new mic that I did purchase for the channel. Let's get right into this. So recently I did purchase this new mic here. We're gonna be checking it out today. I believe it's pronounced the Mayano. Uh, it is a professional mic on Amazon. This is $50. Now what I was using prior to this was just simply headphones with a mic. This is Wicked Audio, the Havoc line, which I love. And I've talked about this on the channel. And to me it's still a really, really great mic but really basic and recently I've been trying to do some voiceover works for some other videos and these are just not cutting it. The audio has been getting very terrible with my uh, video editor and audio editor so I can no longer use these so I decided to purchase this. Hopefully this works a lot better. So we're going to be opening up, we're going to be checking it out, testing them and we're going to do an overall review and then I'm going to record some audio and see what you guys think as well. But these here I'm still going to uh, be using with my PS5 for live streams and that because they do work great for that as a mic for the console. But for voiceover work with my video editor and everything else, I'm likely going to use this. So let's open it up here. The one that I was actually looking at and I had in my uh, wish list for about two years Ended up having recently a lot of terrible reviews, so I decided to look, and this is the higher quality one that I've seen, and for only $50, I thought that was a great deal. That's around the price range I wanted, and it had a ton of great reviews, mostly five stars, so that is great to see. Just open it up here, so we do have a little user manual, which is actually pretty thick, so that's actually really cool. Uh, we do have the charging cable here, which I must say, that is pretty thick, uh, pretty durable. Uh, it does look like a high quality. It's not a cheap cable that you get for some, let's say, Chinese products and that. It's a pretty thick cable. Uh, it looks like one end is a Type-C, the other end is USB, which is great. And it looks like a pretty long cable, which is awesome. My setup doesn't need to be a long cable, but that's pretty cool. Now on to the main thing, and that is this mic here, which has its own built-in stand, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna open it up here. Here's the first look here. It does look like a really professional mic. It looks awesome. Just tilts back like this, the legs come out. And yeah, just looks like a little professional mic. Looks like it is a good quality one at least. Uh, does look like something that has a lot of care into it. And just overall looking at it, there isn't much plastic on it. Uh, most of the mic, the base, everything that's made out of is metal, which is great because that means it's going to be durable. The legs are all metal. It does have the rubber legs. And the only thing that's plastic is this part right here which is actually really good. One good thing about this, it does have the pop filter on it, which if you do not want it, it can just be removed on the back here. There is this little screw uh, and you just take it out and you don't need to use it, but likely for me, I am gonna be using it with that on it. Uh, the other thing that's really cool that I wasn't even looking into when I was researching these is the fact that this one actually has a shock mount. So if you can see, this is the mic here and it goes back. If you look like this, Literally, the mic is just levitating in between that shock mounts because there's these rubber uh, bands that are around it that are basically holding it into place. So that's what's holding it into place there. So it's really cool that it has that. It does have the uh, adjustable mic button right here, which is easy access on the side of the shock mount, which is really, really cool. And the tripod, I must say, it is a pretty easy to use one. Um, it obviously whenever you lift it up it automatically springs forward, but it is a pretty good uh, Mic the design is really well thought of and it does look like a professional mic in my opinion And definitely something that I was looking for for the channel now looking at the back here It does have the type C USB which 
the cable will plug into and then the other end of the regular USB is going to plug directly into your laptop or whatever you want to record with. It does have the mic port here as well, which is really cool. So I can put my mic in and listen to exactly what I'm saying and what's going through the mic in real time, which is awesome as well. So now that we have checked out the mic, I think it's time that we connect it to my laptop and we record some audio. So not only am I gonna record audio with Audacity, because I do use that from time to time, I'm also going to record some audio with my video editing, which is Filmora 11, and they do have a, a voice over feature on there. So I'm gonna record the audio on there, play it back, put it in the video, and see what you guys think, and test this out. And here's the audio with the old headphones, the Havoc ones. You can definitely tell the difference. Now let's switch over to the other mic. Okay, so here is the first audio clip. I'm recording on Audacity first, and then we'll go with my video editor and see the difference between uh, recording the audio on both. But we have the mic connected to the laptop here. Um, I don't have the mic volume up too loud, but it does seem to be a lot better uh, than just connecting my headphones with the mic that's built into them to the laptop and recording my audio. It's a lot crisper, a lot cleaner, and it is working a lot better. So I do have the headphones connected to the new mic but all of the audio is being recorded through the new mic not the mic that's attached to my headphones so so far I think it's great let's switch over to my video editor and see how the audio is on there so now we are recording my audio with my video editor, which is Filmora 11, and compared to Audacity, I think it's pretty much the same. It is crystal clear from what I can hear, uh, and you guys can hear me perfectly without me really adjusting any of the settings, and that's completely different than just connecting my headphones with the mic built in, the Havoc ones I showed you, uh, connecting that to my laptop and trying to record, because with the new updates on my video editor, Audacity, and overall updates on my laptop, it just isn't having the right audio is really low you can barely hear me which means whenever i would try to record any voiceover work or anything i had to up everything and that just added a lot of feedback a lot of white noise and it was very frustrating so i think with this new mic you guys can hear me pretty clear right now i think that is definitely a great thing and for only 50 dollars, this is definitely a professional mic i definitely recommend checking it out i'm hopefully going to be doing a lot more uh, voiceover work a lot more videos that i can use my mic with now that i have a good quality mic and i'm really happy with the overall audio the sounds and the professional look of this mic. So I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I think it's definitely something that's, if you do voiceover work or your video editing or whatever you use a mic for, I think it's definitely worth a $50 investment with free shipping on Amazon if you're a Prime member, which is awesome. So I definitely recommend checking out this mic. Uh, as you guys can hear, the audio is amazing and you definitely will not regret that. But comment down below what you guys think. This is definitely an improvement from what I was using and now I have something professional to use for future videos. So hopefully a podcast is gonna be in the works over the next couple months or years. Uh, have a couple other things and other projects I'm working on. But hope you guys did enjoy this video doing the review of this new mic. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.